In this video, I will consider one numerical to find equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. For the network shown below, find the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B using star delta transformation. Here this is the given circuit. We need to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. We are supposed to use star delta transformation. So this is the given circuit. Now by applying star delta transformation, we should reduce this circuit. Here we can observe that this 30 ohm register, this 30 ohm register and this 30 ohm register that is these three registers are connected in delta. I will try to convert these three, these three registers into star. The equivalent star network may appear like this. So this is the equivalent star with respect to these this delta connection. Let me call this as R1, this as R2 and this as R3. So let me find R1, R2, R3 values. So here R1 is equal to that is this value is equal to 30 into 30 divided by 30 plus 30 plus 30 that is 30 into 30 divided by 30 plus 30 plus 30 that is we have 900 divided by 90 which is nothing but 10 ohms. So here R2 is also same value because all delta values are same. So R1, R2, R3 values will be same. So therefore R2 is equal to R3 is equal to we have 10 ohm. So all R1, R2, R3 value is 10. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit. So here I can write this is terminal A. So this is R1, this is R2 and this is R3. The value of this is 10 ohm, this is 10 ohm, this is 10 ohm. So the remaining is this 30 and this 30 I will connect here as it is. So here we have 30 ohm. So this is 30 ohm and this is 30 ohm. So this is 30. Now this 30 and this 30 that is this 30 and this 30 are in series. I can take the equivalent value as 60. So here we have 60 which is connected to this node that is here it is connected like this. Now here we have 30 and here we have 30 that is this is 30 I will connect as it is this 30 is connected as it is this is 30 and here we have node B so now in this circuit we can observe that this 30 and this 60 are in parallel I can replace these two with single value and again here we can see that 30 ohm 30 ohm 30 ohm are in delta fashion we can convert this into star so the equivalent star connection again will be same as this one will get the connection like this. The connection will be like this. So R1, R2, R3 these values are again 10 only. Now let me reduce this circuit further as. So here we have node A. So this is 10 ohm that is as it is I will write these two the 10, 10 I will write as it is. So this is 10 and this is 10, this is 10, this is 10. Then here we have 30 and 60 are in parallel. So I can write 30 is parallel with 60. The value of this is 30 into 60 divided by 30 plus 60. That is 1800 divided by 90. That is nothing but 20. So here these two registers are replaced by single value of 20. So this is this is 20. So here we have the value of this is 30. So here these three registers are in star now. Now here I will draw a star. It is connected here and here this is star. It is connected to node B. The value of this is 10, 10 and it is 10. So 
So now let me simplify this further. So here we can observe that this 10 and this is are in series and this 10 and this 10 are in series. Let me draw the equivalent circuit. That is this is A terminal. This 10 I will write as it is. This is 10. Now here these two are in series. The value of this is 30. So here it is 30 ohm. These two are in series. That is 20. So this will be 20. Here this 10. Sorry. Here we can see that this 10, 20 and 10 are in series. So its value is 40. I can make it as 40. Now this 10 will be connected to this node. So this here it is 10 and connected to node B. So now here we can observe that this 20 and 40 are in parallel. So these two can be replaced by single values. That is 20 is parallel with 40. The value of this is 20 into 40 divided by 20 plus 40. That is 800 divided by 60. So it gives 13.33. Therefore, now let me draw the final circuit. So here it will be. This is node A. And here we have 10 ohm. These two are replaced by 13.33. This is 13.33 and this 10 is in series. This is 10 and connected to node B. So therefore, final resistance between A and B is all these three are in series. That is 10 plus 13.33 plus 10. That is 10 plus 10, 20. This is 33.33, 33.33 ohm. So this is the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. That is 33.33 ohms. Thank you for watching.